Got Pat Murphy on the line from Buck Nuts 247 Sports breaking down the Ohio State offense for us as we move to the running back position. Much like the wide receiver position, there's depth, incredible depth, but maybe not necessarily the elite proven players at least. There's two coming that uh, Buckeye fans hope are elite, uh, but it starts with Master Teague at this point. It does. And he was the guy who was the starter for most of last year in a rotation with Trey Sermon. Both guys were playing for much of the season, but at the end of the year, it was Master Teague who who suffered a concussion. Uh, Trey Sermon took over in the Big Ten Championship game, ran from there, um, you know, only really came out of a game because he got hurt against Alabama and Master Teague had to come in and, and kind of carry the load there. Master Teague's numbers are good. They're just not elite. Um, and I think you, you've you come to expect a standard from Ohio State running backs where, you know, you, you talk about Ezekiel Elliott, Carlos Hyde, J.K. Dobbins. I mean, you, you can go back way further than that, obviously, but those three come to mind in recent years. Um, and, and Master Teague just hasn't looked the part of those guys. He did to some degree a couple of years ago when he was the backup to J.K. Dobbins, but that was often against you know, tired second string defenses late in games, um, you know, 514 yards on 104 carries last year. So 4.9 yards per carry, eight touchdowns, as we mentioned, sort of lost his job due to injury. I think a full off season is going to help him. Um, I just don't know if he is going to prove to be the guy. It would not surprise me if he got the first carry of the year for several carries even. Um, but there's definitely talent behind him. You know, you mentioned the the two young guys in, in Travion Henderson and Evan Pryor, who are true freshmen. Both were here in spring. There's a lot of excitement around them, but those guys have to prove um, not only that they can carry the ball and do the things needed, but hold on to the ball. You know, ball security is such a big deal. And then pass blocking uh, at Ohio State, you need to be able to do all three of those things. So it's, it's going to be interesting. Um, but the other names, no, Steel Chambers, uh, Marcus Crowley. Marcus Crowley probably... Uh, more likely to to be able to step in and contribute right away. He's a guy I think could vie for uh, a rotational position with the Buckeyes. He was injured last year after tearing his ACL late in his freshman year. Got back to full health. We saw him a little bit against Alabama National Championship game. So he's a guy who I'm I'm interested to see because he did look good as a freshman. Um, could kind of give you something different than Master Teague as some of the young guys come along. So it'll be interesting. They could do a, a kind of a platoon of three, four guys, especially early in the year, unless one guy steps out during fall camp and, and kind of wait to see if you can find that bell cow running back. And Henderson and Pryor, in addition to their running skills, um, did show us in the spring game and also have the reputation coming from high school that they're uh, advanced beyond their years in regards to pass catching out of the backfield. Yes. 